Hello everybody, welcome back to the brand new video, we're back, brand new car vlog, and I did record two videos last week, to release, well, last week, however, I've been so busy trying to sort of stuff out with the house and working, that it's just been pushed back, so I'm basically going to cover everything I covered in them two videos in this one. Because was the second one was just me rambling on my own stuff because I made the first one see before. So, so in terms of the mortgage, we've obviously got the house. We've got the mortgage, which is good. Obviously, I've put the reservation fee down for the house. So that's good. We're now in the legal parts of it, which is excellent. We've been in that for like three weeks now, and it's just been back and forth because it's been like mis a lot of miscommunication, on like the Twitter's end, a lot of wording on documents that isn't easy to understand. You think it means one thing, but it means something else entirely. So it's just caused a lot of confusion. It's now, because of that confusion, it's now set us back a week, sort of thing. And we've already been set back a week, which is bank statements, and we've been set back a week because we're waiting on. The last contract basically said so literally the last three weeks basically nothing's really happened because of the things that are out by control but we've got the mortgage deed which is like the main thing we need for the mortgage but basically to accept the mortgage so we can then get the house which is good so that's a good thing but I'm going to basically the witness to sign that so I asked my boss to be the witness, which he said he was fine to do. So we got all that document sent, uh, basically sent it by email to make sure it was okay. And then they're like, could you do another copy? Because basically you both need to sign, basically you need to both sign it separately to like, okay. So we, I basically printed two more copies off, printed one for me, one for my girlfriend. And then I sent them both off today and then so like emails make sure they're okay and they're like why to do two separate ones they're like what I meant was you both want the same one and the witness signs it twice which doesn't say anywhere in the paperwork doesn't say anywhere so to us I'm not the happiest at the moment like they're not communicating with me very well because I'm basically trying to get this all this done because I've got more free time than my girlfriend does so it means I'm having to be the one to you know go to the post office and send off everything and I'm sending everything off email because then I can send it off before work and I hopefully get it. And it's just causing a lot of complicate. It's just causing a lot of issues. So at the moment, I'm not really particularly happy with how it's being handled at the moment. But because I've now, because my boss, how my boss of shifts are working out at the moment, I've got a week off starting next Friday. My boss is away for like a few days and like another site working, covering a sort of that's like a work conference and then when I get back from a week off he's on a week off so it means I'm actually not really going to see him until the end of October which then means I've then got to find a whole new witness for the mortgage deed which we've now found oh my word learn a driver so yeah I'm sort of just trying to get everything to do with the house sorted as well so that's fine But um, we've got another witness lined up, so it's all good. We're sorting that out tonight. Hopefully, like, I've got the mortgage deed with me in a bag. So I'm popping to Tesco. I'm just going to try and get around the learner. Can't, don't want to be stuck behind the learner. I was thinking myself, yeah, so I'm doing like 20 miles an hour. Close the merge point, that's why. There we are. But yeah. So hopefully soon I can get this bloody document sent off. Because this this mortgage now starts to really, really fuck with my head. Like, I want it to be over, I just want to basically just put a stop on it because it's just causing me so much stress. And it's not even me dealing with most of it. Because I try to deal with it 
and people just don't answer me. So then got to basically get my girlfriend to talk to them because they they listen to her and they don't listen to me. So I'm sort of just like here. I've got to do everything, but they're not communicate. Commu- if they send me messages, it all gets sent to my girlfriend. It doesn't get sent to me. Therefore, I'm then in the unknown, but then I've got to sort it all out, but then I don't know what I need. So me and my girlfriend are communicating, but they're not communicating, they communicate with her, but they're not communicating with me. And it's sort of like, and I sort of, I literally double read with the documents the other day as well, for like what I needed for the mortgage need. I didn't say anything about, yeah, it said, each borrower must be witnessed separately. But to me, in my eyes, that means I sign it, and obviously my boss witnesses me sign it, and then he witnessed my girlfriend sign it. But then, no, signs once. It doesn't say about signing twice. If it said sign once per borrower, it'd make more sense. So I've now got to redo the whole mortgage deed. Okay, it takes like five minutes, but it's more which is an inconvenience because I was going to post it Saturday or Friday, but then I couldn't post it Friday, so then I, had to post, I was going to post it yesterday, but then I couldn't do it yesterday, so I was going to do it today. But I can't do it today, so I've got to do it tomorrow. And I have said, I have said, the government have said, if if they say no, if they cause an issue to this one, I am kicking off. I'm, I'm, we are flying off the shelf, big. And I put my foot down. I was like, we are getting another solicitor. Someone else can take over because they're not communicating so that's it so mortgage due is causing a bunch of problems like issues at the moment it's just the bank it's the bank statement situation all over again the issue of bank statements the other week where they weren't the same as they weren't accepting the bank statements and then they weren't even written their emails properly and it's just yeah it's just not really not handling it the best in my opinion. So but I'm literally so close that I can move out I can move into the place next month. Like that's how close we are. It's literally fun like one of the searches come back on the 18th, like estimated. So the latest the 18th meaning after that check is then we'll get the contract. So late October we'll get the, the actual house contract. I'll then get someone for work to make this we do it, sign it, and we're going to the government signing it to make something easier. And yeah, just hopefully it makes life a little bit easy. Hard to get past this stage, but obviously everything's paid. So that's like the most completion of government. No, everyone gets paid, the deposit gets paid, so this gets paid. Then when that the last time it's like right you can move in. So that's good. Then also my credit card has arrived, so that's gonna help us in a few weeks. When we get the keys and everything, I can go out and buy the essentials, for example, washing machine, the dryer, fridge freezer, a bed frame. I can buy run for hiccup, but the frame that run for hiccup is just gonna be brought out of my own money. It's about like fifty pounds to get like just a bigger one. So I've already got one. So they get a second one sort of put more together. Then after Disneyland, we will be like, right, okay, let's let's get the rest of the house sorted. And then we'll revisit the pickup's up, my little area. And we'll get him, we'll pimp it out, make it really nice. Spend a couple of hundred with me. I'll get the rooms, I want to make it homely as well. Obviously, pickups need to come first, which is why we get them the second run so we can then run around. And then if we're home, we can then in the evenings we can then open up one of the sides and then he can just run around the lift room. So he's still got a lot of space. We could leave him how he is. He had plenty more space. And then he's got the whole lift room to sort of run around him. It's that would be quite nice. Because at the moment he doesn't really have much space and he can sort of can't really explore the room because most of the time we're sitting down he's only got like a third of the room to look around. So he's running around him. Yeah. The place is only small, so he's the little room we've got, he can run around in, it's a bit of exercise for him. Whereas for us, just we stand up and it's just there. Like, 
literally the mattress is the floor. So it'll be nice in a few weeks when we've just got our own space again. I don't have to sleep on the floor as much or for as long. So my plan is I want to try and get the bed frame and everything delivered over there before the mattress gets delivered. Well, basically before I move the mattress. So then it's just a case of I move, I chuck the mattress on the bed and it's all there. I can do a load of washing, I can do no, I can wash the bed in, I can do that, make it nice and fresh. So it's literally I make the bed. And it's a nice clean bed, the bed's made up, wash my shoes plumbed in. Makes it a bit nicer. But yeah, I've got a meeting today at half past four. With like a broker about like health insurance and all that. Let's do a three him you get a bit of you know get a bit of money off, which is quite nice. And that's the main, main reason why I'm actually driving. I need to go to Tesco to get some drinks because I'm not drinking it's at home. It's because I don't really want to leave my room, to be honest. So, what I'm doing is I'm just going to go like, buy like a case of Coke or something. But something cheap, you know, like Pepsi Max or like Coke Zero. Something cheap. That I can just chuck straight in the fridge and then just get rid of the box straight away. But then I'm also coming down here, so when I have the meeting, it's a bit more privacy. You know, I haven't got people, I have, I'm not feeling like I'm being ears dropped. And people like hearing in the conversation and all that just makes it a lot nicer. So, that'd be quite nice. Apparently my storage is getting low, but it shouldn't do because I literally cleared it. Ah, oh, I suppose I cleared it the other day because I didn't actually clear it, clear it, I just put it in the bin, so I should probably sort that out later on. So I'm going to try and start park somewhere sort of out the way. I have got a good spot. I've got a good spot just over here. If I turn left down here, I'm going to literally park in the corner. And there we go. It's literally as private as private can get. It's not the most private. However, it's... I'm not in prying eyes. I'm not, you know, in... a bit too far over this side so let's quickly straighten up make sure I'm in the lines yep there we are well, anyway guys I'm gonna end this video here I hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to leave a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time see ya